Hey everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Flashy and welcome back to Foundation Friday for over 50s. It has been a while since I've done one of these. I feel like I found so many great new foundations last year and that it kind of filled up all of our buckets of holy grails. Then the pandemic hit and people weren't really interested in foundation so it has been a long time since I've done one but I was shopping in the what's new area on either Sephora or Ulta, I can't remember which one, and I saw this adorable bottle and I was like, you know what, time to do Foundation Friday because this foundation has such cute packaging. Like that makes any difference to us. But anyway, I didn't think it was cute. Look at that little guy. The foundation that we are going to put to the test today on over 50 less than perfect skin is the Clinique Even Better Clinical Serum Foundation. This retails for $42 for one ounce and it comes in 42 shades. So Clinique says that this is their first clinical foundation with three serum technologies to leave bare skin looking even better. So they put in hyaluronic acid, salicylic acid, vitamin C. But anyway, you're supposed to use this foundation. It's supposed to make your skin look better, which would be awesome. But for me, I like to have my skincare be my skincare, my foundation be my foundation. Probably the best thing for your skin that's in here is the all mineral SPF 25 that it includes. It has titanium dioxide and zinc oxide, which are the mineral sunscreens. And so those are really gonna help your skin if you apply enough of this. Of course, the amount that you use of a foundation is not gonna be enough to give you the 25 on the label. So using a normal amount of this, you're probably getting an SPF of like eight to 10. But you know what? It's better than nothing if you're not a person who uses SPF, but that's not a reason to use this alone. So anyway, just my little sunscreen disclaimer. This offers medium to full coverage with a satin finish. It's supposed to give 24 hours of wear. It's for combo to oily skin, and I know a lot of you have dry skin out there, so why are we even doing this one? Well, because there are a lot of people who still have Combo skin, like me, I have combo skin. We'll find out if it can be used on dry skin as well because I do have dry skin on parts of my face and as I get older, my skin does get a little bit drier. This is packaged in a glass bottle and it does have a pump dispenser. <laughs> oh, okay. My one problem with it is if you are older and you have any hand issues like arthritis and you can't grip so well, it is kind of hard to open this funny little cap from here, but there is a pump under there that is easy to use. So checking out the ingredients on this one, it's mainly silicones and water. It does have a really long ingredient list that does include the skincare that I mentioned before. It has vitamin E, algae, botanical extracts, green tea, caffeine, niacinamide, a probiotic, and that is a lot of skincare in a foundation. Anyway, CN52 is the one that I got. I think it looks like a pretty good match for me. It might be slightly pale, but overall, I like the color match. So I've worn this three days already. Today's the fourth day. I have worn it enough and tried it with enough other things to get a really good feel for it. Got a lot of footage to show you, nice up close pictures and video and lots of different lighting scenarios. So we're really gonna put it through its paces. And if you enjoy these thorough foundation reviews, give the video a like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. That really helps my channel out, helps it to grow and helps it to gain more viewers, which is always appreciated. So thanks for hitting those buttons for me. All right, so let's get into it. Let's go back to day one. On the first day, I, even though it has sunscreen in it, I do put on my sunscreen underneath. The sunscreens that are my holy grails that I test makeup with, they don't affect the wear of the makeup. They don't affect the look of the makeup. The ones I use are Elta MD UV Elements SPF 44. I mix it with a little bit of Paula's Choice Super Light SPF 30 to get the right shade for my skin. So when you see me starting to apply it without makeup on. I do have on a tinted sunscreen, just so you know. All right, so on the first day, I don't use any primer with it because I wanna test it on its own to see how it wears, see if we can get that 24 hours of wear that it promises. I'm gonna go ahead and use a sponge on this side of my face. It definitely evens out the skin tone and I think it looks nice. It's not like super glowy, super dewy. My only issue is that it did skip over some more enlarged pores right here, but I always have to really grind the foundation in there. I think that looks nice. It blended really nicely. Let me grab my BK 101 brush and we will even up the other side. All 
All right, definitely liking the sponge side more than the brush side. I did try to build this up because it was a little sheer at first. Now it seems a little heavy. Um, let me see if I can show you guys. But over here, I feel like it just looks a little heavy in there. Right in here, it looks like it's going to be a creaser. Overall, I think it looks pretty good. It's got a flattering satin finish. It definitely covers up my redness and evens out my skin tone. And it seems to be reducing the look of my pores to start the day, which I always like. So far, there's very little settling into wrinkles and it dries back and feels dry and set. I put on the rest of my makeup and it played well with the other makeup products. I grabbed my vlogging camera and went outside when I was taking my dogs out because it was a beautiful sunny day. So I did the bright sunshine outdoor test. So let's bring that in now so you can see what it looks like. Then I came back to the camera for a five hour check-in, five hour check-in on the uh, Clinique foundation. So far, so good. It seems to be wearing pretty well. Let me just take a look. Yep, still in place on my nose. Seems still in place on my chin. I was expecting it to be a little bit worn off on my forehead because I keep going outside with the poochies and putting my hat on and it really is not worn off on my forehead at all. So that's good. It hasn't really settled in wrinkles either. It has like the tiniest bit of settling in my smile lines, but like no settling in my forehead wrinkles. It's not super dewy and luminous. It's really dry to the touch, not having any oily, shiny breakthrough in the T-zone. Like up close, I'm kind of like meh on it. I'm just not sure what it's doing that is bothering me a little bit. Can you see it just seems like a little heavy-ish in there? Slightly creased over here. So I came back to the camera after 11 hours in the Clinique foundation. You know, it wore really well. I gotta say it's still in place everywhere. It's not really worn off or sliding around. I mean, I was outside with the dogs at least three or four times already today with my hat on and it didn't remove the foundation from my forehead. I was expecting to see like a big rub off line and it really hasn't. Um, it's still in place on my nose, which is amazing and the chin isn't looking too bad either. So I'd say for wear, it is really good because we are a full 10 hours. We're actually a little bit over by about 45 minutes. So we're going on 11 hours and this still looks really good, especially from a distance. I felt like it was smoothing before, but now I feel like it's just making my skin look so dry and textury that I'm not loving it. There are some skin flakes popped up here on the side of my nose and on the bridge of my nose and around here by my hairline. So yeah, let's take a look around like right over here. I don't know if you can see those, but there's like little skin flakes popping up in there where it's dry. And that's usually like an oilier area. So that's kind of weird. And then right here on the bridge of my nose, it's like some flakes popping up there. And overall, I just feel like it just looks a little dry right through like this area and down here. So all in all, a pretty successful first day, but I was feeling like it did look a little textury later in the day. So I thought I would use a primer with it for day two to try to reduce some of the look of the texture in my skin and try to get it to go on more smoothly without skipping over pores. So I used my favorite primer, which is the Beauty Blender, the Leveler Primer and I applied that with my fingers. Then I always like to try to apply the foundation with my fingers, because I know some people do like to apply it that way. So I gave that a try. I felt like it was going on really thick and really heavy at first when I was first putting it on with my fingers. So I stopped recording and put my face in my big 10X mirror to look at it. And I was so surprised it looked really, really good. So this one blends beautifully with the fingers. So if you're someone who doesn't uh, want to buy makeup brushes to put on your foundation, you just want to like slap it on there with your fingers, you can do that with this one. And I applied the other side with a damp blending sponge. And I gotta say, I couldn't really see a difference between the two sides. So this one seems to go on very well any way that you want to apply it. 
I was happy with how it looked when I first applied it. I thought the primer really helped to reduce the orange peel look of my pores. It's looking a lot smoother, so hopefully I will like how it looks better today. Um, today the finish seems to be fairly matte, like a, not a super matte, but it's not giving me like a high shine like a lot of the luminous foundations do. So if you prefer something matte, this is actually really pretty. I can't say it's the most skin-like thing, but it doesn't look super heavy and cakey either. Let me put on the rest of my makeup and then I will go about my day. I'm going into town to have um, not lunch with my daughter but in lieu of having lunch we are going to go grocery shopping together so I will have a mask on so we'll do a mask test today and we'll do an all-day wear test so I will see you back here in a bit. All right you guys five hours later I am back from my big adventure into the city with daughter number one. Considering two hours of mask wear this is really in place very very well. I would say that this is one of the more mask proof foundations that I've used. Um, I can't say that I 100% love it but I don't hate it either. I like it but there's always a but with this one. I feel like it could look a little better if it looked a little bit less dry like in here. I thought it looked good in the beginning but after five hours it seems to be like showing um, bit more texture. I mean it's not the worst I've seen and literally no one's gonna see it unless they're super up close examining my skin which I did ask my daughter to do um, and she said it was okay you know she was like I've seen better foundation on you but I've also seen worse foundation on you. She said it did look a little textury it looked a little dry and a little cakey in some places but uh, as far as the five hour check-in today I think it looks nice you know, I, it's not the most skin-like foundation I've ever seen though. It does look a little foundation-y sitting on the surface. It's not settling in wrinkles too badly, I gotta say. All right, Clinique Serum Foundation at 10 hour check-in. What do we think? I think from a distance it looks really good. It didn't really settle in wrinkles throughout the day. It didn't like crack make me look older. Um, it's really long wearing. It's lightweight. It feels dry and set. Comfortable to wear didn't feel drying. I feel like it does look a little dry on the surface, but only if you're looking at it super up close. I'd like to try it again when it's like hotter and more humid. Of course in the winter with the super dry air and the heat on, it's hard to feel good about it because it does make my face, I feel like, look a little drier. All right, so today is the fourth time I'm wearing it. There was another day that I didn't shoot any footage, but um, I gotta say, it didn't really change anything. Like I tried some other things under it and over it and it was the same. I gotta say, this one is very, very consistent. No matter how you put it on, no matter what you put under it, what you put on over it, it seems to always look the same. So we still have a couple more tests to do. We have to do the overhead kitchen light. We have to do the uh, by a window like natural light test. You already saw the outdoor sunshine. We gotta do the flash test. And here's the Clinique foundation in overhead kitchen light. Here's the Clinique foundation in natural light by a window. And here is the flash photo. It actually looks shinier in the flash photo than I think it is in real life, but it doesn't seem to be giving me any flash back. So those are all the tests that we had to do on the foundation. I hope you got a good up close look at it and you could tell what you thought of it on my skin so that you would know whether or not you think it'll work for your skin. But let's run down the pros and cons on this one. So on the pro side are the long wear. This was probably one of the most long wearing foundations that I've ever had on. I love the soft satin finish on it. I think it's really pretty. If you're someone who doesn't like a super luminous finish and you don't like a super matte finish, this is like right in between and it's really a very pretty finish. It doesn't settle into pores at all. It only settles into wrinkles slightly or like I like to say, it barely settles into wrinkles. It's easy to apply no matter how you want to get it on there. You can just put it on and it will blend beautifully and it dries and sets. If you're someone who doesn't like the feeling of damp gooey makeup on your face all day long then this one will definitely do that for you and it's comfortable to wear. On the con side are that it can look a little makeup-y. It's not the most natural, the most skin-like looking makeup I've ever had on. It can show more texture especially later in the day and also that it might be drying for certain skin types. I mean it's definitely intended more for combo to oily skin so it may not be the best thing for people with dry skin. It 
checks so many boxes that I think it's worth a try if you like a foundation with a satin finish that dries and sets and doesn't budge for hours. I think this one is going to be best for people with combo to oily skin who need their makeup to stay put all day and stay shine free. Now another foundation that does that for you that looks a little bit more skin like, a little bit more natural is the Ultra Latent Velvet from Chanel. This has been my holy grail foundation for a long long time. This one is also for normal to combo to oily skin so it ticks all those boxes, it keeps you matte, it doesn't slide around, um, but it doesn't accentuate texture like the Clinique does. And then another holy grail for drier skin people is the Estee Lauder Futurist foundation. This one is very hydrating. It looks beautiful on the skin. So this is another holy grail, another one that I love so much. If you're looking for a drugstore foundation that's really good, L'Oreal True Match is awesome. It is similar to this in finish, except it's more smoothing on pores and texture than the Clinique. Um, it's not quite as long wearing as the Clinique, but it's a really great foundation. It looks beautiful on the skin, very skin-like. And of course, I have reviews for these in my Foundation Friday playlist, which I always have linked in the info box below every Foundation Friday video. So if you're looking for any review on any foundation, you can check the playlist and you will find it there if I've done it. All right, so that's my full review on the Clinique Even Better Clinical Foundation. I hope you found it helpful and informative. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel. As always, I thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate your watching. I hope you have a great day and I will see you in the next video. Take care everybody. Bye-bye.